Hi, I'm Scott Cockerham, and today we're going to be listening to the differences between the OB3 standard banjo, 22 frets, and the OB3 extended fret banjo with 24 frets. Obviously, you can see some differences, the extra two frets and the uh, three octave sound. You may have also noticed that the bridge is pushed forward in the center of the banjo head, and uh, the neck is a little bit longer. The neck is about three quarters of an inch longer. However, the fingerboard scale is identical to the standard banjo um, of the same model. The frets are the same distance apart. The distance between the bridge and the knot are the same on both banjos, uh, so the string tensions are also the same. But what is different, other than the 24 fret um, range, is also the, the tone that you may hear. Now what I'm hearing, I was surprised to, to hear the difference in the, the higher registers of a more smoother sound. Think about it, if you're playing close to the nut or the tailpiece, um, you'll get a brighter sound, but if you're moved up, then you're going to get a smoother sound. But even when I move up on, the, on this banjo, there's still a, a, a warmer, rounder tone on the high end on this banjo. By the way, I found that playing in, in between uh, the bridge and the fret when you're playing, you'll have the best tone when you're playing high notes. Listen for yourself. Now let's compare to the standard fret banjo. Now let's listen to the difference um, down the neck playing um, close to the bridge on a standard uh, OB3. Alright, so now let's listen to the extended fret banjo playing the same thing, bluegrass, close to the bridge, and down the neck. Okay, let's listen to the difference between the OB3 extended and standard on uh, melodic playing and chordal playing in the middle part of the neck. Okay, let's listen to um, melodic and chords in the middle of the neck on the OB standard. So to recap, I hope you could hear the difference between the standard version of the OB-3 and the extended fret version. By the way, they are both identical. They have the same setup, the same Snuffy Smith bridge. But in my opinion, um, this banjo has a nice high end, high frequency sound when you're playing bluegrass style down the neck. However, when you go up the neck, uh, this one has a more even sound up and down the neck, less possibly shrill when you go up the neck on the high notes.